Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pardot score on account records within Salesforce. Now, you're probably pretty familiar with the Pardot score already. It's an indication of how interested that prospect is in your business. As they interact with your emails or your website or other marketing assets, that score is going to go up. And it's a nice way to compare different leads and understand where the interest lies in your database. But it can also be really useful to take a look at that score from an account point of view. For example, if you're doing account-based marketing or if you have a sales team that's working on complex sales, you might want to understand what's that score across all the contacts within a given account or what's their average score. Once you know that at the company level, you can then compare those different businesses. You can also better understand how your account-based marketing programs are working or understand if you have a broad foundation of interest in an account if you're trying to you know, sell something that's gonna take the involvement of multiple people, which is typical with complex sales or high ticket sales. So in Pardot, we've got that prospect score already set up for you and it's syncing with Salesforce. So you can use it in reports, but there is no way to use that account score, that aggregate of all the people within the account within Salesforce. Now it does exist within Pardot though. So if you look in Pardot here, we look at a prospect and click on the account name, you can see that we've got a total prospect score and an average prospect score. But these fields aren't syncing to Salesforce anywhere. So if you wanna use these metrics in list views or you wanna use them on the account record or in reports, you're out of luck. The one exception is if you have B2B marketing analytics. If you're using that, you can actually get access to this data within those dashboards. But again, that's sort of outside of the standard Salesforce database and how most people would, would want to leverage it, adding it to traditional dashboards, list views, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually get at this data and make use of it within Salesforce. What we're going to do to accomplish that is build out a custom flow. And so I'll take you step by step through building out that flow so that you can take full advantage of this metrics on that account record in Salesforce. Now, if you'd rather not build this flow out yourself or you're looking to save time, We've made the finished flow available for purchase on our website. So you can just click the link in the description below and skip the rest of the video. For everybody else, the first step is gonna be creating two custom fields, which we're then gonna use in that flow to update as that score is changing over time. So obviously the two fields we wanna create are total prospect score and average prospect score on the account object within Salesforce. To do that, click the gear in the upper right-hand corner and go to Object Manager. From there, go to the Account Object and under Fields, Create. These are both gonna be number fields. So select Number and then give it a label. We'll start with Average Prospect Score first. Now you could use a decimal place if you wanted. In this case, I'm, I'm not. I don't think I need to, we need to be that specific when it comes to the score and then hit next. Go ahead and provide access to this field to whoever in the system might need to view it. Then hit next again, and you can add it to page layouts automatically, and then click save and new. We're gonna do that again, choose number, and this will now be our total prospects. Again, I'm gonna leave off the decimal places, hit next, hit next again, and click save. Now that we have those two fields, let's go about building out our automation. So the way this automation is gonna work, it's whenever that contact record Pardot score field is changed, that's gonna be our trigger. So whenever that field is changed on a contact record, the flow is then gonna get all of the contacts related to the account, and it's gonna loop through them doing the math for us. It's gonna be counting the number of contacts there are, and it's gonna be adding up the total score. Then with those two data points, we can just divide one by the other and get the average. And then finally, it's gonna update the account that that contact is related to. So keep in mind with this automation, it's only going to populate those account fields when the contact record score has changed. Uh, so in the beginning, all of our values are gonna be blank, but we'll talk at the end of this video with a couple ideas for how to you know, pre-fill those uh, those fields once we've got the automation completed. So next thing to do is click new flow and choose record triggered flow and then hit create. So the triggering object is going to be a contact. 
And we want this to run whenever a record is created or updated, but only when that pardot score is changed. So search for pardot score. This is it, pi underscore score underscore underscore c is the, the pardot installed field. And then for the operator, change that to is changed. And for the value, set that to true. Now, whenever that is changed, our automation is going to run. Then go ahead and click done. These last two steps, uh, the defaults are fine. Just make sure it's actions and related records is what we want selected here. Next thing we're going to do is get all of the contacts for that account. So add the element for get records. I'm going to call this get account contacts here. And under the object, the object that we want to get is the contact object. And we want all contacts account ID is equal to our global variable of record. So this global variable record is the contact that triggered our automation. So that's the first person that had that updated score. Uh, select that and select account ID. Now there's two account IDs here, one that's got a little arrow on the right and one that doesn't. Uh, choose the one that doesn't have the arrow on the right. If you choose the one that does have the arrow, it just takes you one more step and you can select all the different fields on the account, which we don't really need to do. Um, but if you do select that, you just choose ID and it gets you the same detail either way. So let me do that again. We'll set the value to record account ID. So give me all contacts whose account ID is equal to the account ID of the contact that started our flow. Select all records here because we want to get more than one. And then choose the second option to choose fields and let Salesforce do the rest. We don't need all of the data from all of these contacts. So the less data we take, the more efficient this flow is going to run. All we actually need is the part out score. Select PI underscore underscore score again and hit done. Next step is going to be to loop through those contacts so we can do the addition. Add a loop element. Call this loop through contacts. And in the collection variable, choose contacts from get account contacts. Doesn't really matter if we go first item to last or last item to first. So you can just leave that as default. And then here you can see our flow is going to loop uh, on the left-hand side. So anything that we add within the loop is going to occur for every contact that we got from, from that original get right above it. So hit plus and choose assignment. So I'm going to call this sum score and count contacts. We're going to do both things in this assignment step. So we're going to have two assignment actions here. Uh, the first one, we need to create a new variable. So our new variable is going to be called uh, sum score. The data type should be a number and change decimal places to zero. The default value should also be zero. That way we're not starting from just blank. We actually have a you know, number to work with. And the operator is going to be add. And then for the value, choose current item from loop. So that's the contact that we're currently looping through. And go ahead and find that pardot score. So you can see each time we iterate over those contacts, it's going to take the score for this contact and add it to our variable sum score. We're going to do something very similar uh, just below it. We're going to create another new resource. This one will be uh, a variable as well. And this one is going to be called count text. Data type is a number. Decimal places is zero. And the default value is also zero. And now here, we also want to change the operator to add, not to equals. And the value is going to be one. So every time we're looping through a contact, we're adding one to our variable. And that's our counter. Click done there. The next thing we need to do on the left-hand side is create one more resource. This is going to be a formula. So this is going to do the calculation for us to give us the average. So we'll call this average score. No spaces in the API name. The data type is going to be a number. And again, decimal places, we'll just leave it zero. 
In the formula, we can insert resources. And the ones that we care about are the sum score and the count contacts. So we'll take the sum of the score, insert that, hit the forward slash for division, and then select count contacts. There we go. So we'll have our total sum of the score divided by the number of contacts. That's going to give us our average score for that account. And then our final step here is going to be to update the account, update those two new fields that we just created. So update records, all this update account fields. Select the second option to update records related to the contact record that triggered the flow. And from here, just navigate to account. Um, it'll ask you to, you know, choose some additional values here. You don't need to. Once you're at record, account ID, we're good. That's all we need. So on the account record, we created those two fields. One is called average prospect score. The other one is called total prospect score. And we can add in our, our variables and our calculations that we've already done so far. So for total prospect score, we'll add that sum score uh, variable right there. And then for average prospect score, we're actually going to just take our formula that we created, average score and select that. Okay, so we're good with our update record step here. Go ahead and click done. Uh, and before I test this, there's just one more thing I want to add. Uh, if you come back to the record triggered flow, you know, start element at the top, there's one more condition that I think is worth adding. Not only do we only want to run this if the score has changed, we also only want to run this as long as that contact is related to an account. It is possible that a contact is not related to an account, typically not the best situation. But if we had that situation and this flow tried to run, it would give us an error because when it went to update the related account, it wouldn't see any and we'd have a problem there. So to avoid that potential error, go ahead and add account ID here. Select is null and then choose false for the value. So this is only going to run when that score has changed and the account ID is not empty is null equals false. Click done, hit save. Recommend to name this with the object that's triggering it first. So contact dash update account prospects. Let's go ahead and debug this. I'm gonna skip this, the condition requirements for the purpose of debugging and we can choose one of our contacts here and hit run. Take a look on the right hand side to make sure that everything is, is happening as we expect. And at the very end that we've got uh, account records, account fields that are going to be updated. In this case, we do average prospect score is 120 total prospect score is 600. And that's it. Once you're happy with it and you do some testing, go ahead and click activate. And now, in the future, whenever that prospect score is updated, it's going to update the related account by calculating what the average and what the total score is for all the contacts within that account. Keep in mind, though, that it only runs when that score is changed. So for the time being, you're going to have accounts with a lot of blank values for average score and total score, even though their contacts within that account probably have field values there. So one way that you can, you can get around this is to trigger the flow. And you can trigger the flow by increasing or changing the score value on all of the related contacts. If you have a lot of contacts and a lot of records in your database, you might not want to do this. Not sure that we want to run this automation across your entire database at once. It can slow things down. You want to be mindful of limits. If you don't have that many contacts within your database, then this is a good way to trigger the flow to update all of those accounts for you. Another option for you is to do an export, do the initial calculation in Excel, and update all the accounts through an import. That's a little bit more efficient, and that's the route that I would recommend if you have a high number of accounts and contacts within your database. But moving forward, those account fields are gonna get automatically updated, and they're now available for reporting, for list views, and for general use within Salesforce. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Uh, if you don't want to build this flow out yourself and would rather just install the package, uh, take a look at the link in the description of the video. You can find it there for purchase. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.